Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise and today's video I want to talk to you about the shiny object syndrome when it comes to niche selection. So with high ticket dropshipping of course niches are product categories and target markets and when we're talking about the shiny object syndrome what I'm really talking about is I'm saying that you'll want to jump from like one thing to the next to the next to the next. Um, let's say maybe at first you're thinking about selling electric bikes because wow it's really trending and it's doing really great so you see get into it but then all of a sudden you hear something or see something on the internet that talks about you know like electric fireplaces or uh, steam showers or something like that and you're like oh man look at that product it's so profitable you know I want to get into selling that too um, and then you know you say okay great I'm gonna go start another store selling those and you go and do it what we don't realize is that every single store you start is gonna suck up so much of your time. Now, if you're young and you got time and you know you got a little bit of money and uh, you know you just got endless amounts of time, you go for it. Hustle your ass off and just get out there and make websites and, and launch them and stuff like that. But consider this. What I always recommend to my students first before anything else is actually going deep into a niche before going wide. And the reason why is because that's when you're successful with a niche is when you focus and when you go deep into it. What I mean by deep is by getting as many suppliers as possible that are, you know, uh, high uh, quality suppliers, high quality suppliers, um, getting as many of the best selling products that are out there in that niche on your website as possible, optimizing those product pages, optimizing your website for conversions, building out email marketing automated flows to retarget leads that come to your website. Um, building out, you know, really profitable and optimized Google ad campaigns, Facebook ad campaigns, and doing a lot of search engine optimization on your website, as well as reaching out to blogs and influencers and getting backlinks to your website. All this stuff, if you go really deep into one store and you become the authority in your niche, um, you're going to get tons of leads and tons of sales right off the bat, right? It's going to be really great as soon as you start focusing on that kind of stuff. And what then next you have to really learn is sales techniques, sales tactics, and how to get on the call and close sales, how to close sales over email, and how to uh, do better marketing, how to do more sales copy and things like that. Um, you can create a YouTube channel in your niche and make videos, reviews of the products, or you can make videos, sales videos of the products. You can make slideshow videos and stuff like that that you know talk about guides and resources and things like that for the niche that that target market might be interested in. So there's tons of different things you can do to go deep into a niche. And if you're always getting this shiny object syndrome, going from one niche to the next, to the next, to the next, what's gonna happen is you're never gonna focus on any one of them and you're never really gonna be that successful, okay? So, you know, even if you've run into some obstacles with the first niche you choose, don't just give up. Um, find a way around that and, uh, you know, figure it out and, and talk to the suppliers that you really wanna talk to and, and, you know, become that person that they like, build rapport with them so you can get those really good accounts so um, don't just give up on a niche just because you run into something and then just hop to the next one because you're probably going to have the same issues in every niche, right? The, every niche is going to have its different nuances. Every niche is going to have different problems and obstacles you have to overcome. And you're really just going to have to focus on your mindset and getting to the point in your life where you're able to overcome obstacles no matter what comes your way. Okay, that's the key. And so when you're there, then you'll be able to focus. Um, make sure you take breaks and make sure you have rest and make sure you, uh, you know, take little vacations here and there so that you can recharge your batteries, but go full force and focus on your one big thing. Okay. Um, now the best way to do this, of course, is to write everything down, make a list, your, make a to-do list and organize that to-do list from the most important, biggest things first to the least important, uh, lower, you know, smaller things last. And when you do that, you're going to start working on those big things. And when you realize that, um, you're going to start breaking those big things down into smaller tasks and then you're going to realize those big projects have tons of little tasks in them and it's going to consume most of your time. But by working on those big projects on that one big thing, that is the route to success. So don't have the shiny object syndrome. Don't get distracted by all these different things people are doing, these different business models, all these, you know, crypto and stock investing and real estate wholesaling and um, you know, and starting more dropship stores, doing um, all these affiliate sites, Amazon affiliate sites. Um, don't get distracted by all that. If you're gonna choose high ticket dropshipping, start with one store, one niche, and go for it and focus and build on that. And don't lose focus, okay? Uh, focus, you know, it's uh, follow one course until success, okay? That's what it stands for. Follow one course until success, and you've gotta go. So um, if you 
really want to get a course that's going to teach you step by step how to do that, I'm having a, a big sale right now on my masterclass. To learn more about that, go to ecommerceparadise.com slash masterclass and also get my free course at ecommerceparadise.com slash secrets. I teach the high ticket dropshipping secrets that I've learned over time to be profitable. Um, you know, one of which is starting niche stores and there's a lot more to it that comes with that as well. So get into that free course and get my free niches list while you're at it at ecommerceparadise.com slash niches. And guys, just focus on what your goals are and make a plan of action, get it done, don't stop, never give up, overcome obstacles and live the life of your dreams, okay? And uh, you know, come out to Southeast Asia and come visit me. I'm currently in Jakarta right now. I'm gonna be back out in Bali pretty soon, but uh, Jakarta is this big, crazy metropolis city. It's really good for getting work done, so I love it out here. It's kind of wild, but uh, you know, it's cool. Um, but Bali is an amazing place for surfing and skating and relaxing all the time. So if you guys ever come out to Southeast Asia, hit me up, let me know, and I'll be here and we can meet up and talk e-commerce. All right, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.